Okay. Okay. It's here we that are. Time again. <laughs> Woohoo! And here she is, <laughs> Suzanne Summers. Yay! Hey, Caroline, live and in person. I was just turning on the phone so that, you know, I had it all charged up so that we could hear Caroline. Then I realized, no, we can hear her. She's yes. right here. I'm yeah. Here. The voice. The voice. The, the voice. Person. She calls herself the principal. Charlie. Charlie's <laughs> angel. No, she, I yeah, like today when good. she said, I, not that I like being the principal, but you two are be, misbehaved so much. i got to bring you back on. That's your job. You be the principal, and yeah, I can just go all over the place. Yeah. We have fun. We have yeah. fun. There's still time for plenty of fun. Today's going to be very, very fun. Well, I'm going to start with a few sips of tequila because, you know, what's a cooking show without it? Where's yours? Your, yours well, I have there. to drive, so. But I need to have water, don't you? I have, um, oh. I have oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm going to have my dirty lemonade, black mm. water. Mm. And I'm wearing the apron, mm -mm -mm. which you have. Which well, I really have. We, we, have, we have a handful left. I think, so, yeah. And, it, like, and it's on 40 or 50 left. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a handful. Mm. So today, I'm going to show you how to make the greatest roast chicken. That if you don't know how to cook it all, you could make this for anybody who comes over to your house and they'll all, like, they'll, their minds will be blown. Well, you did it the other night for a dear friend of mine. I did. She doesn't know how to cook. And she, I, she'd had this dinner at our house one night a few weeks prior. And she asked, do you think you could teach me how? And that's People what I thought. freaked out by a whole chicken. I know. I know. And you made it not scary. It's not scary. It's, I always have a chicken in the refrigerator. Always, always, always. When you get your, your chicken, get organic chicken. It tastes different. It's so much better for you. They eat stuff that, because when you eat the chicken, you're going to eat what the chicken ate. Mm -hmm. And um, you want what the chicken ate to be good for you. So that's why you get organic. But anyway, here's the other part of the house that none of you have ever really seen. But here's um, where Big Al and I um, hang. I was going to take you on a little tour. Yeah, you can talk about it, Al. Okay. That's a piano. <laughs> and this is where we sit sometimes. And those are sliding doors so that it opens to the outside. And there's this wonderful outside area that's covered. So we can sit out here even when it's raining. Of course, it never rains in Southern California. We know that. Okay. Jason's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you've seen our little uh, interim temporary abode, which we're so happy here. I always say how lucky we were to find a place to yeah. lease while they're building our other house. But today, Caroline and um, Mark, who sets up our studio, and Alan, were at the new house, the oh. not finished house. It's going to be very sexy. Yeah, it's going to be a very sexy, very glamorous house, but also the whole house will be a studio. Um, yeah. We figured out a way that we can be more mobile. Yeah, so I won't be stuck in one place. So exciting things coming, and mm -hmm. we had a business meeting today, and our business is doing great, thanks to all of you. Yeah. And there'll be two bars in the new house. And there'll be two bars. Two bars yeah. 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 Not one, yeah. two bars. Yeah. And also super exciting, um, all of our Infusio products just hit the warehouse. We're back. back in stock okay. on all of our Infusio products. So today Suzanne's going to show you, um, we're going to do some fun recipes with her amazing Infusio oils and vinegars. And everything at the site is 25% off. The promo code today is TASTE25. So nice to have you here. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I think okay. Bruce and I need a little weekend house in yeah. Palm Springs. Then did you just... see those um, those places on the way up the hill? I did. Yeah. 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 That one we were talking about sold, but yeah, they're kind of shit brown. Shit brown. Yeah. yeah. But but great views. I bet. I bet yeah. they're great inside. Inside. Yeah. From the outside. You know what it is? The inside is like the most fabulous apartment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, I worry about things like that with homeowners associations. Right. Yeah. Because you know yeah. you get the price for the place, and yeah. then I go, oh, by the way, yeah. And all of a sudden, we are now dealing with that. It's like, yeah. okay, we will. We'll trim our palm trees. I promise. Tomorrow. No, but they assess you too. All of a sudden, you can have a couple grand more a month, oh. just in fees. Well, how just about this place here where we live, Alan? We're not members because we're just leasing. But last year, they they decided to redo the clubhouse. You can't imagine what everybody got. Yeah, uh, exactly. Assessed. So here, oh, a bill you weren't expecting. Well, we can't go to the clubhouse, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. No, 
We're, we're interlopers. We're outsiders. Right. By the way, this black water, if you guys um, have, you saw Suzanne sells the black drops at SuzanneSummers.com. The black water, it's like this delicious beverage with benefits. Of course, I learned about humic and fulvic from you. I was pretty shocked to find it in like a cool, a cool display case yeah. at Whole Foods. Yeah. And they have it's, it at CVS, it's they have it at on. Ross. I'd like to say I had something to do with that because when I start talking about humic and fulvic, people go, huh? But I don't even know where I came across it, but. We thought it was a dance team. <laughs> but it's interesting. You know when your tree drops all its leaves and then the leaves hit the ground and then they disintegrate and they actually turn into a fungus and then that fungus goes into the soil? That's all part of nature, making the soil so rich with minerals and our bodies can't live without minerals and the minerals they're making are humic and fulvic. Most people are deficient with minerals. Most. I speak from personal experience. Yeah, we got, remember that Where one that, doctor? That one doctor who said I was gonna die. Wow. I know. She said I was going to die. She did. She wow. said, well, he's going to die. I said, how, I, it's rare in life that you say, how dare you? But I said, how dare you? Mm -hmm. And when you, when, when you have the impetus to say, how dare you? It's really a profound moment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I said, don't ever say that to another patient ever again. I said, we will infuse him with minerals. So that's when we found the humic and fulvic and, and, um, and you know, this will make a lot, this is a kind of a hip cool thing with the young crowd too, right. because it's great it's for new, hydration, it's a new bottle of water. It's great for performance. Yeah. It, it's great for hangovers. I have to say, um, Camelia hit it a little hard on Saturday night. She was over yesterday. We were watching the game and she was like, I am so tired. And I said, go get a black water. Yeah, you actually, need, that's cause, great. Cause it is great for hydration. It's great for gut health and energy. Um, you ever feel dog tired? This yeah. is great for being it's dog cool. tired. It's good for detoxification. <laughs> but also we have the drops, which I am so proud that we have yeah. the drops. We put yeah. that in our smoothie. We put every that in our gut renew yeah. smoothie. And it in doesn't. The I mean, it doesn't. The 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 black part of it, it just looks cool. It doesn't. This one is tasteless. It doesn't. It's just taste like water with all. benefits. And also, someone was asking uh, last time we we had the black on the show. If your teeth turn black, no, no not, at all. not at, all. at all. Even when I put the uh, the drops that, that um, we have, I love the drops for this reason. I do too. There are so many supplements we all take. Mm -hmm. If you take sufficient mineral supplements, you're taking a minimum of six a day. That's six more to gag on. But with the black water, you just put the 12 to 15 drops in your smoothie, mm -hmm. or, or even in water, even anything, and you you get all your minerals for the day. I, w I wish we could liquefy every single one of our supplements. I know, especially with, without it tasting like anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Today is actually, if you are in Suzanne Selects, if you get Suzanne's subscription box, today is the last day to order the January box, which has the black drops yeah. in it. Yeah. Or you can just buy the black drops separately at SuzanneSummers.com, and everything today would be 25% off. Promo code is TASTE25. If you're going to retail to get black water, I particularly love the Dirty Lemonade. That's yeah, me. we do too. We really like um, it. And here are the uh, minerals in a in a bottle. Yeah, you know, and that's it. This, this is at Suzanne Flips. You know, oh, for such a great sense. product. Yeah. You think they <coughs> figured out how to spell black? <laughs> <laughs> we have this one very cool chain of stores in Los Angeles. There are only three of them. It's called Erwan, and it is where yeah, it's a I great mean, store. You can end up with. Literally, at Violet was so funny yesterday. She was talking about how expensive Air One is, and she was she was at an exam, and um, she was talking to one of the women who was there. And she had just moved here from another state. She's like, "God, it's so expensive here." She was she's in the middle of giving me an exam, and she's like, "I mean, I just don't know what to do with these seventeen dollars smoothies." And she's <laughs> like, "This was like such an LA experience of her talking about the expensive smoothie that she was buying at Air One." While giving Is that me, how much they are? Oh yeah, no. I mean, you can you can wow. go crazy with, but but at their, you know, at the counter on the side, like it's a special featured product. Like you know, you're hot when you're getting the special featured product at Air One yeah. with the people who care the most about their health. So this is not outrageously expensive. It's just a great water with incredible benefits. So anyway, let's chicken. Okay, so here's your chicken. Okay. Okay, just a chicken. Now, what Does it I like, come like that? No, you have to wash it and, okay. and dry it. 
I fell in love with my. Let me. Oops. Let me take my ring off. Nothing and, worse than chicken. And juice was on there anything ring. inside that you had to move? These are the things that people who have never oh, okay. cooked a chicken okay. get freaked out by. All right. Inside were the innards: a little bit of neck, a little heart, a little uh, giblet, a little liver. I threw out the liver. Some people save it and do, uh, you know, chop liver. Oh my God! I give it to Chi Chi. Yeah. Freaks if you have a, a dog chicken or liver, so good. a cat, other than my cat, who will not eat anything other than her little hard little Cheerios, dry. dry Cheerios that are science diet, supposed to have everything in it that she, it's all she will eat. I hear her in the middle of the night chomping away. Do you hear her in the middle of the night, Alan? Sometimes. Yeah. I have such exquisite ear hearing. I, no, no, but I, I always hear in the middle of the night when she goes, and then I go, oh, and then where? we don't know where it is in the yeah, dark. Because it's in the dark, right. So if you get up to go right. somewhere in the dark. Right. So they come in a little baggie usually inside. Yeah, inside. Take that out. Take it out before I you I save the neck and I save the giblets because I'm going to put it in the stock that I will show you at the end of this uh, event, how to make stock from this chicken so that the, your sauces will be incredible. I'm gonna teach you the whole thing. I, and I used to do a little trick with the neck. I don't do it anymore. No, thank you. All right, I'm gonna turn the chicken upside down okay. because I like to start on the bottom and I'm using less expensive olive oil to cook. You know, I, we, it's still extra virgin. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's extra virgin, you can yeah. see. But she's not, what she means is that she's not using, the, these are her I would amazing love to, flavored oils. And but it's too expensive, too yeah. extravagant. I, even though we own the company, uh, it's too much. Yeah, like the basil would be great, but most of the basil flavor is going to, it's going to be ruined some, when you're cooking. Yeah, it. right. It's a finishing. Okay, now finishing this is what I'm going to put on next. Hungarian paprika. I am liberal with the paprika, okay? I just put it such a nice color. Oh, and it's going to make such great juices on the bottom of the pan. As you see, I just put in a lot. Is there a... Uh, I can be your hand, so if I you want a tasting wanna... thingy here, uh, maybe the next one. New house. We don't know where anything is yet. No, uh, no, no. No, oh, I'll keep no. no, no. I, I think it's, on the, it's over there. I can get it. Right. What are you looking for? The tasting brush. Oh. Aww. Also, I can be, if you want to, like, one of us can touch balls and one of us can touch chicken if you want. Okay. Oh. You know. Right. Yeah. All right. I know. I think it's in those drawers, Suzanne. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. We all we'll have drawers like this, huh? Talk to the chicken here. Okay. Okay. We should give this chicken a name. Uh, Fred. Fred. No, no, it's a lady. Oh, it is? I can tell. How can you tell? Oh, I can tell. Oh, here they are. All where they should oh. be. Just shoved back there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Didn't see that. All right. Okay. Now, because um, I touched the chicken, you take the Provence thing and liberally sprinkle okay. the bottom. So this is one of Suzanne's sea salt rub, Infusio. <clears throat> you know, when I, I, the Provence. when I occasionally say, just get it, just get it. It's so good. It's so, so perfectly balanced. It, you, you'll just be a better cook. So what we tried to do is give you Suzanne's country French chicken recipe right in. It's all yeah. pre-measured for you. Yeah. Can I just read here? Yeah. Uh, Celtic sea salt, garlic, fennel, lavender, black pepper, marjoram, tarragon, mustard, onion, and extra virgin olive oil. So she's put the seasoning blend. It's all in here for you. Okay, now okay. liberally. And this is the bottom. Because you want, this is what's oh going to cook God, on the bottom of the pan, yeah. Okay. I season liberally. Good? Yeah, very good. Okay, all right. Also, um, when you guys use the sea salt rubs, make sure you turn them upside down because the salt kind of settles to the bottom sometimes, especially with this one, the lavender flowers kind of rise to the top. Okay, and you know, get in the nicks and cr crannies here too. You want all sides of it. Okay, now, because I'm the one touching the chicken, turn her over. Look at her. Oh, look. Mommy, <laughs> my little mammy. All right, I'm going to wash my hands so I can deal with the olive oil. 
because I know you all will say something to me. The other night, I know my, my I look like I had no underpants on, on the show with the, the disco show. I did, it's just that when you sit down, your shorts ride all the way up. Okay, now I'm gonna put- Caroline doesn't mind that. Okay, now, <laughs> now, because my hands are clean, I can do this. Put the olive oil on the top and the paprika. This is so simple. And, but be liberal. Don't be afraid of paprika. You can't over paprika. This is going to make it, okay, put some of the sauce, the thing on. Okay, again, the Infusio Herbe de Provence. And what I'm creating here is what I call the balls on the bottom of the pan. Yum. Okay. Okay. Good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's about as difficult as it gets, but we're not finished yet. So take the schmutz that's on the bottom of the pan and just start schmutzing up the top of the chicken. The chicken's getting happy now. Don't knock it off. Okay. <laughs> you just follow and do whatever you do. Okay. You're, I can modestly say you are here with two of the greatest cooks I know. And when when she taught we, me a lot. when she started, I taught her. But as the uh, Buddha saying goes, that the the uh, student the mother. The student, nah. <laughs> the student should outperform the mother or the mother, or not the mother, the the teacher or the teacher didn't do a good job. I don't, and think, so, I don't think anyone does the home. I mean, your sauces and flavors. And, I know that you know, chickens and soups and. Like, I mean, no one makes better roast chicken than Suzanne. I mean, she is really true. And I make a great roast chicken, she taught me. But I, I do make a good roast chicken, but there's something, I don't know. Yeah, it's about the balls on the bottom of the pan. It really is. Okay, so and that's what I'm telling you. What, what put, a little more, put a little more paprika on. Okay. I want it to be a little more red. Do you see I'm being very, very liberal? And then we're going to go to town. It does make it a beautiful color too. The paprika. And the paprika is not spicy. And you know you're right. We should have taken. We should have heated the bottom of it. But what the heck? What okay. should you have done? Well, we'll just set it here. Yeah. The other one is. Done. She said to me earlier, "Should we heat your bottom of it?" I said, "No, because the, we have a hero cooking in the yeah, oven." Yeah, we started yeah. earlier. Yeah. When will it be ready? Uh, Four thirty. Yeah. yeah. What time is it now? It'll be ready after we make a salad. Okay. It's four twenty. Oh, she's gonna make. Her salads, have you seen her on her Instagram well, this is show? A super simple salad. But. That, but that's what the beauty of her cooking is. She makes these super simple things that you go, oh my God. It's mostly just to give you an idea of something to cook. So, okay, it's, now. It's, I'm at Caroline Summers if you want to watch me cook. The beauty of baby yams, not sweet potatoes, yams, they're the ones that are golden orange inside. I just put them in here. Let's say we're having dinner for four. Okay. And so just washed and cooked. Is that just washed? And then I'm gonna like smoosh this sauce around. Oh, here. don't you have to put? Don't they explode if you don't? No, them? no. Oh. They I these thought... cook perfectly, and oh. then when I take them out, you'll see when I take the hero out of the oven right now, it's they're just ready to receive sauce. Okay. This already looks amazing. Now, baby carrots. Right here are. Two per person. So country rustic. Like I know. Her I know. Yeah. And they oh, and they it. roast so beautifully. Now, beautiful. that's not all. Two onions. These are cut in half, but I want to um, quarter them. Here. Mm -hmm. I got a knife. Okay. So I peeled them. So just take your onions. Throw them in. It's so simple. You can do it. I can feel you. I can feel you thinking. Oh, I could do that. And you're going to so impress whoever you serve this to. Okay. And you could certainly, you know, you could certainly get your own good quality sea salt or Celtic salt, like Suzanne has here, um, and get the fennel seed and the lavender flour and the marjoram and the tarragon and the garlic and, and you could do all that and you could season this on your own or if you want to just make it super simple 
I really tried to match the way Suzanne seasons in all of she, these. Uh, you achieved reps. it. It's so great. And this is her Provence seasoning. Now, I cut the tops off these garlic, and I'm going to use the tops for something else, but you want this garlic here, and rub it, schmoosh it on the bottom here. It's all about schmooshing. Okay, and then we're going to, like, schmoosh it more. I have a gimp hand, that's why I'm dropping things. But it's working. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's so simple, it's so easy. Now, add a little flavor. Mammy! Little... This is this is Suzanne making it pretty because th literally the flavor is all in here. But, it's all in here, but but it's also presentation and this, these and are the taste... extra little things that she does. And they taste good when you make the sauce. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, that was nice. Haphazard. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here I can take now. This for you. What I would do, I know the sea salt has salt in it, but I like a little more salt. Okay. That's all. Okay. Will you do me a favor and just. Go like this and come over here mm -hmm. and just smile. Yeah. Because <laughs> then we're going to get a still frame. Ready? Smile. <laughs> do, you need, do we need to hold it up, Alan, or can you see it okay? No, I can see it. Okay, you can see it huh. over. You're a good boy, Alan. I am. That's the best. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Now, what time is it? Um, you have another, like, five minutes. So. Okay, let's come over here and look at the chicken that is in the oven. Okay. Because I want to wiggle the leg. You want me to do that? Why don't you put the glove okay. on? I just want to see if this is done or not. Because I get nervous when... Oh, this is done. When you can pull the leg like that... And it comes completely out of the Yeah, socket. it's ready. Okay? Oh, you want me to take it out? Take okay. it out, and then we'll put the one we just finished in. Okay. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Voila. Mm. I'm going to put these on here so that it doesn't... Don't forget to grab it. Okay, yeah. now I'll put this chicken okay. in. I'll put it in for you. Okay, it is 426, so uh, so it's about an hour and a half. Six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. Okay. Amazing. All right. Okay. Now, at some point, Al, you're going to have to figure out how to be carving guy. We're going to, we're going to switch, so I'm going to make yeah. the salad. And then we'll let that sit for a moment, and then you can do your sauce and go cart. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Okay. Al, you want to come over here? You want to okay. come on this side? Okay. Super easy salad we're going to make today with the blood orange mm. infusio olive oil. These are so beautiful, and... Like, like we said, they're finishing oils and you know, they're expensive. So you don't want to cook with these. Um, so I'm going to make we like- We even talked about it tonight and we both decided, even though it's our company, it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, we wouldn't want you to waste on that. And I'm going to use the traditional balsamic because sometimes I feel like she doesn't get enough love and attention because we have so many yeah, great you're right. flavors. You're right. We have black cherry, we have vanilla fig, we have pomegranate, but the, this traditional one is just a, a beautiful quality balsamic. So here's what I'm going to do. Better than any balsamics I've ever tasted. Yeah, oh, yeah. me too. I never, I never I went to a restaurant and they'd say balsamic because it tastes like acid. It's sour. Yeah. These have all been aged a minimum of 12 years. Okay, so here is a beautiful, you can use any kind of lettuce you want. You can. No one makes a salad like Caroline. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, Bruce. Well, you're married to the salad yeah, guy. Yeah, he's, he's really... Do you know when I was pregnant with Bruce, your husband? I craved celery. And I craved it so much that I would go to the market sometimes at 11 o'clock at night, no exaggeration, just to get some celery. And it was him. He, because I don't, I don't, I like celery, but not like that. Well, our celery. He, he, <laughs> who, who looks at you and says, <laughs> it's like, well, this is why you're naturally thin and I and have healthy. To, I have to fight to keep my. We were when we were making that salad the other night. Um, he's you know he's got all the lettuces and all the vegetables. And what was I doing? I was cutting the salami and the pecorino. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah, know I have a salt thing. That's why our marriage works. Yeah. Okay, so here's need, some. You no, know, you don't need in a marriage two salad makers. 
Yeah. Okay. So here's some pretty baby lettuces, a little radicchio. And then over here, just because I wanted it to be a simple little French salad. This is fennel, just thinly sliced. Yeah, I love fennel. And I do. I am going to put a little avocado on here. So I just sliced that. Just put a couple slices of yeah. avocado. Yum. Simple, simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little orange slice mm -hmm. just to make it bright and pretty. And I'm, I'm really just accenting the blood orange vinegar that we're using. Never here. underestimate the power of fresh herbs in food, whether it's cooked or raw. This is tarragon. It comes alive in your mouth. Oh my god, tarragon in a oh. salad is... Oh my god. Or, you know, we have, you know, sometimes we use mint or dill, right. a lot of parsley, basil is great. Oh, that's it, good fennel. You add it to the uh, to your salads and it really does, it brightens it, it makes it so pretty. Okay, so that is that. Now, very simple, we're going to use the blood orange olive oil. Uh, this is on sale today, as is everything at Suzanne Summers. Oh, interesting. The, the oranges with the blood orange. Yeah. That's what I did. The promo yeah. code today is TASTE25, 25% 25 off. These are beautiful products. Um, so here's how to make an amazing, I mean, this would be amazing with any oil and vinegar, it's right? The, but the when you add vinegar, this, it, it takes it to another level. It really does. Hmm. Mm. Okay, and mm. don't drench your salads. It really... Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah. The flavor is so intense in these oils and vinegars. These should last you a long time. Yeah, and especially and the vinegar. This is like a crema. So it's it's a thick, beautiful... You just want a little drizzle. It's just like a little kiss here. Yeah. That's how I use it. I don't like... No, but you know who, who likes to drink this? Yep. Well, Alan likes to drink it out of the bottle. Yeah. Camellia turns her salad into a soup. It's <laughs> it's crazy how much she uses. I would have thought so. you would say Bruce would drink it. No, 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 no. Okay, so there's our beautiful little salad. Oh. So we're going to set this aside, and then I'm going to go behind the camera and let Alan and Suzanne finish up the chicken here. Okay. And... I can't wait to eat that. Right, wait, isn't that pretty? Don't you want to make a second one while you're here so that we can our um, third one? Okay. Okay, All well, right. you know what? While you're doing the chicken, I'll make another salad. All right. All and right. then um, and then I'll when it's time for you to carve, I will become camera. All right. So we're on Suzanne now. Be careful with this though, Alan. Yeah. You wanna come around the other side, Alan, and okay. Suzanne? Actually, you take the camera for a little while so he could lift the chicken out. Oh, I can do it. Do you have it? Do you have a chicken lifter? Well, uh, in the next door down, if you have tongs, our tongs for us. There you go. Mammy. Okay. Mm. See how the legs are? Mm. Okay. All right. Is that all you need? Yeah. And I'm going to now take out all the vegetables. I'm going to smoosh that around in the sauce. Mm. Do you want to get in here, Al? So look at what happens to these onions when you cook them this way. They're just naturally caramelized. And if you don't think you like onions, I'm telling you, you will. Look at those. Just she makes them so sweet. So beautiful. Mm, look at that one. Mm. So the other thing that's amazing about this recipe that Suzanne made is that it's all in one pot. This is a one. Yeah, this pot is dinner. a one pot dinner. Okay, here which is your great for dishes and it, it ease. It, it you can put that together in ten minutes. And your clean look how also. easy this was. And we're not done yet. And then Alan's going to carve this chicken. You can't believe how great he carves it because that's men's work, right? Absolutely. Oh, and um, you cook this at 350 for 90 minutes, yes, right? Yes, About exactly. a five-pound chicken. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm. The potatoes are perfect. See how they didn't explode, Caroline? The yams? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, though.
Let me get the skin up. I can do it. Okay, what we're looking at here are pan, natural pan juices. Why are you taking that out? Because I'm going to serve it with the chicken. Oh. All right, look at that. Now often, often you would pour some of the fat out, but there's not very much fat here. It's, look, at, look at those juices. Ooh, that's it, from all it, the paprika. Isn't fat the, the flavor? Yeah, but sometimes there's like too much fat from the kitchen, chicken or the kitchen. All right, I'm going to turn this up and let this do its thing. And in the meantime, I'd like you to carve Okay, so did you see okay. that? She, she, turned the, she put this right on top of the range and turned the heat up on high. For people who have never done it, like oh, you're things right, that are you're normal right. for I'm you. sorry, I forgot. And that's how she's going to then get the drippings I want to get this bubbling up a little bit, and then I'm going to add stock, which at the end of this whole demonstration, I'm going to teach you how to make stock. I make it every single week. I always have stock in my oven. What is stock? Stock is, I mean, uh, in my refrigerator. This is gold. This is stock. And I have another whole, like, gallon in there. By the way, Alan, you didn't finish your smoothie this morning. Oh. Actually, that was yesterday. Or yesterday. I, I think we can safely get rid of that. Yeah. It's still good, though. It's weird that it remains good. Okay, now I'm going to move this around. I want to cook these drippings down. Come look at this, Alan. Mm. Okay, just get all the brown bits off the bottom before you add your stock. Now you can use, especially if it's your first time doing this, you can use boxed organic chicken broth, and it's good. It's not as good as what I'm going to put in here, but it's good. But I'm going to teach you how to make these stock that's all gold. Okay, now we go. Now we go. beautiful salad, Caroline. I forgot salt and pepper. I'm adding the salt and pepper. Okay. All right, here. What that is in there is that fat from prior um, chickens. I never throw out anything. Okay, now I'm just gonna let this come to a boil and smoosh it around. Now, gravy, you would have, before you add the stock, add like a tablespoon of flour, uh, which is a, it's a great, it's like your mother's gravy. But I like uh, pan juices, and this is pan juices. And in a little while- both those burgers going? I've just got one, it's enough. We'll start bubbling up. Okay, now we need you to okay. get off holding okay, that. I'll be right there. Hold on. I'm and just... then um, we can serve. I'm just taking photos. One moment. Okay. Multitasking. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. People always ask me, you know, your daughter in law is the president of your company. I go, yep, she's the best man for the job. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Okay. okay, does that look good? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Alan Hamill. Okay. Okay, Alan Hamill. And we're gonna add butter. The so, last thing, once this comes to a boil and it thickens and cooks down, and then we're gonna add some butter to deglaze it. Okay. Now, what, I'll bring you the plates because I want you to put it on the plate. The disco look we wanted. We have a ruby <laughs> shirt, sunglasses. What do you wear down every the day? Waist. Every day. Every day. Except no, day. he wore reading glasses and a polo shirt. <laughs> 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 and a medallion and you couldn't see. <laughs> okay, so did you just cut the leg off first? Or should we cut the legs? First? I just sort of now. I was going in on the breast meat. Oh, I can't imagine how sweet that meat is. Mm. Mm. Little chicken, look at 
This is, I want to bring it to a boil. I want it boiling and yeah. bubbling. Okay, so you can see Alan is on either side of the breastbone. There's cartilage down in the middle. So with an electric knife, you don't have to worry. You can cut right through that wishbone. Some people will take out the wishbone for easier carving. Oh, careful. Let's, let's not cross your hand over there when he's got okay. that. All, All right. right, that scares me. Go. I, know, I, mean, I think you're done. Go ahead, yeah. You're done. All right, I just want to get a beautiful onion here. So you're not cutting the leg meat, you're just going to do the breast meat. Yeah, but then wow. we take the, yeah. the um, leg off. Okay. Now, you didn't cut all the way through here. Now we need an assist. Okay, I will. Okay, wow. Okay, look at that. All was from one pot. One pot. So okay, this is starting to boil Here's down yam. and... Mm. Are we just making one plate here? No, I'm making more, but I want to get the great one for... Yeah. yeah. I just want this to really bubble up. See, it's starting to... Mm. So good. Just have to take a little bit. Mm. Yum! Just... Don't put your hand in there. I won't. I won't. They're, they're, they're really enjoying your uh, carving now. Okay. Yes, she has whole heads of garlic in there. So there are whole heads of garlic, onions. And you can't imagine yams. how great the uh, garlic taste. Okay, are you done? Let's get rid of that knife. Okay, see, I'm putting this butter in here. So now I'm going to okay. like, is your heat going off now? It's, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I forgot about putting the um, garlic on this plate. Al likes to eat that whole thing. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to open the potato and then smother the whole plate. That's it. This is a yam, if you guys are wondering. Yeah. The orange is a yam. Yeah. I'm going to smother the whole plate with this beautiful sauce, but I just have to let the butter melt in here. She's not going to cut her ham. She's okay. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Do you want me to open up the yam? Uh, sh uh, on camera. I'm going to show them how it cooks in the pan. Because everyone said, now squish it. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then in a minute, we're going to load this up with this great sauce. Here I go again. Fingers look good. No one got cut. The chicken looks amazing. The yams and the carrots and the onions and the garlic are caramelized mm. in absolute perfection. Mm. The pan is now all clean. Yeah. Because she cleaned all the bottom, bottom <laughs> off. Yeah, it's Which easy is, cleanup up. So one pan dinner, brown, yeah. easy cleanup. Okay. And if you're looking for Suzanne's products, this is Infusio. Okay, so beautiful bring me oils that plate. and vinegars. We have a lot of different flavors, and we have this Provence sea salt rub, which is the star of the show today. Okay, come over here for everything the, is twenty five percent off. Promo code taste twenty five. Here I go again. Okay, here's the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. And Suzanne is liberal with the sauce. Oh yeah. 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 How about there's your dinner? How much chicken stock? Like two to three cups, probably. Yeah, probably two cups. Yeah, maybe a little more. Yeah, more. Okay, How long can let's you cut the next the one. Stock? So um, like two weeks. Oh the yeah. Fridge. Oh yeah, it lasts. And then you can also put it in the freezer if you don't use it up. Put it in the freezer and then defrost it as you need it. Yes, she put in Elaine. She put butter in after she cooked it down. 
Here I go again. Ba -da -da -dee -da -da. Um, Crystal, if you go back in on Facebook, you can see the Suzanne Selects box. Look at the show from January 3rd. Um, and today's the last day to get that January box. We'll be doing the Suzanne Selects. Oh, I'm coming around the other side. Um, we'll be doing it later this week for February. Yeah, a little bit more there. Okay. Okay. Uh, what degree now, and how long? 350 for about 90 minutes. Uh, we were saying you can freeze the stock. You can, you can leave fresh stock in your fridge for a couple weeks and then after that put it in your freezer. And you'll use it to make soups and, and sauces and when you're making chicken bocata, oh my gosh, which I'll do for you someday. Okay, here's some more sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. That's why I cook. Just why, so you, you know, you can never get something like this in a restaurant. Okay, look at that. Ever. It's, it's yeah. perfection. It really is. It's the ultimate mommy food. Yeah. I'm the ultimate mommy. Yeah. She's known for her chicken. <laughs> you guys think she's known for a lot of things. In our it's family, for chicken. She's known for the chicken. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love feeding my family. Don't you, Caroline? I love it. Can you scratch cock? The chicken. I don't know what that means. Yes, of course. You just take out the backbone and you lay it flat. Oh. And it oh, cooks. yeah. Okay. It cooks in like 45 minutes if yeah. you spatch cock it. But yeah. same seasoning. It's actually, it's really nice because you can season the underside really well. What is it called? Spatch cock. Fast? Yeah. Fast? Spatch. No, spatch cock. I never quite knew what spatch, the term meant. Spatch cock. He just wanted me to say spatch cock. Over no, no. <laughs> you did. No, I just Come wanted on. to know what, what it was called. I never heard it before. <laughs> now that I have heard it. <laughs> he likes to spatch box all day. Yeah. Okay, come here, Al. Let's sauce this up. Oh, you didn't open the wow. potato. I will. We are going to have a okay. great dinner here. Okay. Never enough space on your... Like, look at this island. She said there's never enough space. <laughs> we do so much here. You know, in a, in a house where you cook, yeah, the kitchen is the heart. You bet. It is. Okay, you okay. can take those away now. Here's something very important. I'm going to take every bit of meat off of this, and I'll do chicken salad or something like that. But... The, all this juice that's on the bottom here, that's going to end up in there. And as I go through the week, and Caroline, I know, does this, I put all my leftover vegetables in a stock pot like this. So at the end of the evening, I'm going to put everything. Well, I want, maybe I won't put that there. That's kind of great. Like the wing is, oh, I just love the wing. Oh yeah, you can have that, you can have that. Mm. Mm. There's nothing like a chicken mm. wing. It's the ratio of skin to meat. Mm. Oh, God, <laughs> here's some skin. So she's gonna take the big pieces of meat off, but then the meaty carcass goes in the soup pot. Yeah, and then I fill it with water, and then tomorrow morning I'll put it on for about five hours. All day, just bring it to a boil. And she does the leftover and gravy. And the leftover gravy goes in here. Every I don't waste a single thing. Wow. Okay, so let's get you guys eating. Okay. Remember, we made these beautiful salads with the oil and vinegar. A little French salad here with fennel, a little avocado, tarragon, variety of lettuces. And tonight we used the blood orange olive oil and the traditional balsamic. They're so delicious, you can just take any mm. amazing greens and it, it just makes everything just mm. taste that much better. Oh. So here we oh. are, we're serving together. Mm. And tomorrow, I will video these stuff so you see the final thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, now, do you want me to make the dessert yeah. now, or do you guys want to...
eat a little, and then I'll make the dessert. The dessert is very fast. What do you want to do? I don't know. It's 10 till. So I could just make the dessert, and then... Why don't I make the dessert? Okay, now? and then and then we'll I'll get you guys eating. Great. What are you what are you uh, drinking now? Uh, I'm drinking wine that is almost over the hill. Oh, it's from the other. Gee, that sounds correct. Better than wine than you. Yeah, he is not over the hill. Okay, so this is going to be a super fast dessert here. Let me just clear my space. Um, the, the vinegars are so versatile. So today I'm going to show you how you can use the black cherry, which is one of my personal one of favorites. My favorites. And I, look. I don't want to create a rush on this, but I feel like I have to tell you, the manufacturer is not sure how much longer we can get the black cherry flavor. Okay. So I know I'm going to hoard some. Um, because it, we may have to discontinue it because the ingredient has become so difficult to get. Really? Yeah. But anyway, I'm making a fun little well, dessert. Okay, super simple. You, you might think, what vinegar on ice cream? But I swear this makes the best sundae ever. Okay, so it we're, we're going to take... I pre-scooped the ice cream and just had it in the freezer. And then just a little bit of this black cherry balsamic. It is so delicious. Mm. I don't know. And you're thinking, really? Oh. No, but it has, because of the sweetness of the cherries, and it's, it's spectacular. So I took some dark chocolate chunks here. This is just a 70% chocolate chunk bar and a few hazelnuts. Oh. And that's gonna be How our perfect. yummy little dessert. How well. perfect. Yeah. Let's come okay. over here. So you guys come over and have your dinner, and, you and I will get you to eating. Look at this beautiful meal in one pot. Okay. <laughs> okay. What an amazing dinner, Suzanne. And you guys simply, it, it, this is mom cooking. Yeah. Okay. And healthy. Okay, Al. I don't know what to start on the salad for. I want to take a. I'm going to have my salad second. I'm going to take a taste of this salad because it just looks so amazing. I'm trying to take pictures over here for the website. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. The chicken is the greatest. Why can't restaurants do this? I don't know. You never get this in restaurants. Because their chefs need Suzanne's infusing a sea salt rub. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and her feel. Okay. Always the feel. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Well. Healthy, delicious. Mm. Oh, God. This is great. Taste mm. 25 is the promo code, mm. guys. You can get all of Suzanne's mm. Infusio products, actually anything today, at SuzanneSummers.com. And look at this beautiful baked lamb. I mean, yeah, it's like candy. It's so good. And there's so much nutrition in a yam. Mm. It's one of those God's perfect foods. Mm -hmm. Yam, mm. avocado, coconut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. And then you dip into your garlic here a little bit, which has been roasted and it's soft. Uh, excuse me? Mm. The I garlic. I didn't have garlic. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, can, I can probably fix that. Well, why don't you eat hey, why don't I use this garlic? Yeah, oh, that's you Caroline's. Know. No, it's okay. You eat it. It's better, <laughs> to, it's better to eat garlic in couples. Okay, yeah. Or it could be a really long night. Mm. <laughs> Alan, turn the whole thing over and just squeeze it. What's that? Yeah. Turn the whole thing over and just squeeze it now. Squeeze it. So. In your yep. plate. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, like that. Yeah. See how that's all that health come out. Amazing. It's so great for your gut. Yeah, and this is like it's another alternative to gentle colon renew. Yes, it is. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Alan. Mm. Alan. 
You made this? Okay. Al, look. Yeah. You made that? Oh, no, I'm good. I've got a napkin here. Mm. Mm. Wow. The garlic, she just cut the heads off of it, and she roasted it in look. the pot with the chicken wow. with just a little olive oil. Mm. And then... I never eat a meal. Wow. And he will vouch me without giving us each three of these. Betaine, HC, no, uh, yeah, that's right. Betaine, yeah, betaine HCL. HCL with pepsin. Hydrochloric acid. I'm in an age where I don't make enough hydrochloric acid. When I forget to take three of these with each meal, I don't have a good night. It's like hard to digest. And, and so, you find like you feel like you get pressure in your chest. After yeah, you eat, yeah. You get like if, it, if food backs up on you. Yeah, you might need HCL with pepsin. And but you know when you go to the drugstore, they sell you an anti-acid when you have a little nexi. What, what is it called? Uh, acid reflux. Yeah. You get a little. Yeah. Okay. So. And what you really need is more acid right. to process, digest your food. Right. So if you want to help support healthy hydrochloric acid levels, maybe your body doesn't make enough anymore, you can try Betaine HCL with Pepsin. And it's 25% off today. You can put a promo code TASTE25. Lack of hydrochloric acid is part of the aging process. You know, I say over and over again, I hope I don't bore you, but aging is about worn out parts. So you put back what your body is no like no longer making enough of or any. I don't make hydrochloric acid because I had radiation 25 years ago with breast cancer, and that inhibits your body's ability to make hydrochloric acid for life. Did they tell me that? No. They put me on a drug, and the drug I was responding really badly to until I did my own research. Um, and then we the, have but, but if you're aging, you may have lost it as well. It's not like you have Yeah, have aging. Aging, you lose it too. We really weren't supposed to live this long. You know, in the animal kingdom, when an animal uh, uh, reaches menopause, they die. They get eaten and because, you know, they're done with their, their life's work, which is making babies. Well, when we stop making uh, sufficient hormones, we um, don't die. We just feel crappy, and they're extending our life now. To be 1995, what? Hey, you're telling such a good story, but there's been a glorious sighting. Oh, no, go find hold her. This, go find this. her. Speaking of animals in the wild. Oh, hold on. Gloria. 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 She rarely comes out. Hi, precious. Hi. Hello. Hi, beautiful. Are you coming for your close up? Hi. Oh my goodness, people are so happy to see you. This is Gloria with her beauty mark. Hi, baby. Hi. So pretty. Talk to the hand. Wow. Okay. Well, she's really posing, guys. That's a rare sight. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness, Gloria. Don't you look beautiful today? This is Suzanne Allen's beloved cat. Hey, Gloria. <laughs> this is her first appearance, I think. Yeah. Maybe the second. Maybe you could just grab her, and that'll be our. That'll be our. I just put my gravy on my plate. I'm gonna do that on you. Okay. Hello, baby. Okay. Hello, baby. Mm. Mm. Aww. Mm. Tell them, it's not what you do. It's not who you are. It's not. Okay. Just make that chicken. Okay. All right. I know. Amazing. It's enough. It's enough. Okay. That's like right. in cat world. That's like enough. Wave, Al. Al, Al Suzanne just did her sign off. Give us the wave. Okay. Bye -bye. So, so you know, he wears his sunglasses to dinner, everything. Yep, exactly. Uh, he takes them off when the lights go out. So we are back uh, Wednesday. I'm going to put some more gravy on your plate. Okay, okay. I'm going to eat it. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank Good you, night. everybody. So fun to be with you. Bye-bye. See you, uh, what's today? We'll Wednesday. see you Wednesday.